How's everybody doing? Welcome to another episode of Spirit Factivity. Um, we haven't been doing this for a while. This is going to be one of our first shows coming out. Um, we're at a building right here that has um, paranormal activity. I'm going to introduce you to the owner here. And uh, he's going to explain a little bit about the history of this. And he's going to give us a tour. And then we're going to start the investigation. How you doing? My name is Scott Cooper. Everybody calls me Coop. Uh, I'm one of the owners here in DH Hitting. Uh, in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, 70 Vineyard Street. Um, we've been having paranormal activity for the past three years. Uh, I've rented this place for three years so far, starting in November, three years ago. Uh, around five months uh, into it, we actually uh, had some stuff going on. Uh, chairs moving, uh, chairs moving toward a television with the television with white noise. Uh, the next morning coming in, chairs in different places. Uh, we have wheels. Uh, for kids that hit off hitting machines, uh, they'd be on at night, so we shut them off. The next morning I come in, they're on again. One day there's one wheel, the next day there's two wheels, the third day there's one wheel all the way in the back on. Uh, one time I come out of the office of DH Hitting and face the turf, and there is a black shadow of a figure. Um, so it's been going on for three years, and I'm happy Brian's here to come and check it out, and hopefully we can catch something on film. We're walking right now, and uh, he's going to show us where all these hot spots are. This is where most of the activity happens. Uh, this chair right here, uh, three years ago, uh, when we started renting the place, it was a medium that came in. Uh, it read a lot of things for a lot of the softball parents. Uh, the medium came in, and as soon as she came in, she stopped right here and said there is an older gentleman spirit sitting in the chair, uh, I believe in the 70s. So at night, I always push the chair in. We leave the computer on, and I just shut off, just shut the monitor off at night. The next morning when we come in, the chair is facing this way. There is a television behind Brian, and it's all white noise. That's this. Yes. Uh, okay. Sometimes we come in. This chair will be way back here. This will be moved almost as if somebody's sitting there with their feet up on the desk, and this will be on, and the computer's going, the, the screen's just waving. Okay. Um, then the rest of the activity, uh, sometimes we come in, if the lights are totally off, which I'm going to shut off now, okay. this right here, this little lamp here, well, it's unplugged now, but it usually goes on. We don't have night vision on yet. Okay, was, sorry. No, that's so okay. Th there's a little lamp mm -hmm. right there. That you can see lamp, that lamp will be on. Or if we come in, everything will be off, and the fan will be on. Okay. So this is stuff that I check <clears throat> all the time before I go home and come in the next morning. Uh, we open at 5 o'clock in the evening. When I come in at 9 or 10 in the a.m. to do some work in here, uh, this is what goes on. Uh, the biggest thing is, if we walk out and go to the turf, we saw a big, huge black figure staring, almost like it's staring, like just like this. Mm -hmm. um, my sister-in-law, Kate LeClaire Cooper, she, um, she has seen it multiple times. Uh, one time she got very scared because it started moving, so she bolted, she was out. I'm here at DH with my buddy Brian and his crew for the... Um, for the for the spirits, yeah. And I took really. So I told them I told them what what I saw and what you saw over on the turf, and what was yep. going on. But do you have anything you want to add? Like remember how you were saying noises and everything? Yeah, just the noises and then the guy standing on the turf. What else? What else can you remember? Anything? Um, just that the uh, psychic was there. She was talking about the guy that was in the in the office. Right. Can you can you tell me what he looked like? Does, does, does she know what he looked like? She said it was just an older gentleman, um, large in size. And um, I had told her, I said, I said it's kind of bad, basically, because I've been in DH at night, and there's been a large size male on the middle of the turf, and he's just he's looking towards us, like at the door, and like standing with his hands on his hips. Yep, okay. same thing, right. Okay. Now, what is your name for the record? Kate Cooper. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kate Cooper. Thank you for your interview. And uh, how's the weather down there in Maine? Um, it's hot. Up in Maine. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot, yeah. 
Well, you're not missing anything, honey. It's hot well, as Well, this building's going to be pretty hot today after we get done with it. Oh, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> All right, good meeting you. Thank you. All Thanks, right. son. Yep, bye. bye. Um, if you want, we can walk sure. right to it. Sure, sure can. Cool. Come on. This area here is where, you, where we saw a big black figure, a little taller than me, just like this. Okay. And then I stopped one night and was staring, going, are you serious? And when I started to walk, I was staring, and it started to come this way, right mm -hmm. at the camera, toward getting ready to come out. Yeah. So I stopped, and I yelled Freddy, because I nicknamed him Freddy. Mm -hmm. um, so I started walking, and as soon as I started walking, the figure went like this, and then it was gone. Really? Did it and like walk right towards? And I came right out on the turf, and it looked like it was going this way. And I started what, did it like run. go through a wall or something? The figure came this way, so I started coming, I started to run to see what it was, and then it went here, and it was gone. So I proceeded to walk into the room where the kids practice. Now, this is totally in darkness. Mm -hmm. The second wheel was on. Okay, that's this one right here. That's yeah. that one right there, and yeah. it was on, so I shut it off. And I'm like, hmm, that doesn't make any sense because nobody was here last night, and nobody was here this morning, so I shut it off. The next day when I came in, the other wheel, the taller one, was on. Yeah. The third day when I came in, these two together were on. Uh -huh. And th that was actually last week is when that happened. Uh, this week, coal spots from the bathroom area, a couple here. Um, and that's when I called you, Brian, and Joe to come down and check out the place. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... We're going to see what we can do for you. Awesome. Yeah, because I know this isn't in our head. No. So when wheels are on, somebody has to flip the switch yeah. because it, it's by electric. There's no batteries with them. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it would be cool to find out, and hopefully we can find out and catch something in action. Sure. Awesome. Absolutely, buddy. All right, thanks. How's everybody doing? Okay, now we're in the office. He was speaking about the chair and the computer coming on and uh, the TV. I'm going to run the ghost box in here, and we're going to see what we got. K2 meter is now running on three lights. It's on orange. So I don't know yet. We have to see. Is there anybody in here with us? Can I sit in your chair? I'm going to sit in your chair. Turn it off. Does anybody in? I don't want you to shut my camera off. Flashlight just came on. Good. Very well. We know somebody's here. Can you shut the flashlight off for me now? You can't hit break. Shut it off. Get the wow. This freaking smoke coming out of the flashlight. Look at it. There's smoke coming out of the flashlight. I've never seen that. The good thing is the, the audience out there will be thrilled to find a, a team that's out there that can pull evidence yes, like that. To yes. see something smoking out of a flashlight yep. or to even be able to have a spirit dictate what's going on through the flashes of the flashlight. Yep. The spirit box to actually back up everything that's going on telling that story. Absolutely. We have something good. You see the smoke? Yeah. Right here. It's coming out of the flashlight. Viewers, we have smoke coming out of a flashlight here. This is un... Look at it. It's coming right out of that flashlight. It is. Like Unbelievable. Better not be burning out my flashlight. What are you trying to tell us? I've never seen smoke come out of a flashlight. It's still going. That is freaking crazy. Go away. Who's coming? Who's coming? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll leave. I promise you, if you make that flashlight come on one more time for me. Oh, there you go. See that? All right, thank you so much. I just would like to know who's flashing the light for me. What 
you think, Erica? Did you see that? There it goes. Say. All right. So that is good. We know this communication. Now I want. I want to hear the person that's making that flashlight go on and off. Give me a name. What's your name? Anthony. Is your name Anthony? Who? Wow. There you go. Wow. You're a live wire. Anthony and I heard Callie. You're a live wire. Uh, we're going to walk around the building. We have different devices all around here, so if any of you are in here, you may trip it off and you may hear some sounds going off. Don't be alarmed by it. We just want to find out where your whereabouts is. And there's also a gentleman in here that shows his apparition. I would like you to show me what you look like. Is that okay? If you're mad that I'm here, shut the flashlight off. Is that a yes or a no? Okay, uh, viewers, um, you know, I'd like to show you, but I'm only going to show you what's happening. Um, the computer ain't on. Uh, I'm sitting in the chair right now. I'm going to get off the chair in a minute and see if the chair moves by itself. I'm going to see if the TV comes on. But as far as anything else now, all I am is getting a little bit of flashlight activity. The K2 meter is at our, on the orange light. Uh, but there are definitely spirits here. So I'm going to get off this chair right now. I'm going to see if this chair moves. And I'm going to keep the camera focused on the flashlight. Sounds good? Okay. Okay, so you've seen the flashlight go off. Um, if it dies, we'll just... Um, they, it seems like the spirits are... And draining the juice from my camera here. Um, Mary Lane, can you, can you, uh, Dave, uh, some restart the gun, the spirit box? This is the room over here, viewers. This is where they say this TV comes on by itself, just showing static, like white noise. This chair is backed up. Um, we're going to walk around further in this building, see if we get any more activity. I might have to charge this camera again. I want them to talk to me, though. Talk to me. Eat shit? I heard that. I heard that. Did you just say eat shit? That's not nice. Those are multiple spirits coming through. Get out. When I went to go outside, out in the table, there was a person at the emergency exit. Yeah. Got blocked out. Really? Around, yeah. You can see it's on three lights. The TV right here, that TV right there comes on. White noise static. Um, by itself. And then now and then this computer will turn on. Like the chair I'm sitting in now, like someone's arching their foot up on the computer. Um, but um, I'm not getting nothing right now. I did on the other camera. But I want them to talk to me. Talk to me. We're going to walk through the rest of the building now. Hold the flashlight, Dave. Alright, Dave, shut the light off. Alright, now I'm going to, me and Mary Lynn are going to walk down here and we're going to talk to the ghost box. Alright, I just said danger. It's with us. Talk to me. Oh, 
come talk to me. Anybody in this chair? Talk to me. Don't be as scared. Talk to me. Talk to me. Ask us some questions, Mary Lynn. Huh? Where's the guy that sits here frequently? Show yourself. They call you Freddy? What's your name? I didn't understand that. Can you speak a little bit clearer? Alright, this is the room I'm taking you in now. These batting cages in here now and then. These things will turn on by themselves. And, um... I believe this one came on by itself last week. We're playing. You were playing? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, come on. Well, talk to me. Alright, what about this one? I heard I heard this one came on as well. Is that true? Did this one come on? Okay. What's that? Okay, and you can see I don't want to stand in front of None of these machines, this one don't have one. Just in case one of these machines come on and someone tries to fling a ball at me. Um, you see you got a bucket here. Some balls on the floor. And uh, Dave and Erica. Dave and Erica's in another room with night vision. See if we can track where the uh, apparition was um, of the guy uh, that was seen there. And if he walks across it, he may trigger it. Talk to me. Can you make that thing come on for me? Come on, show me yourself. I can put night vision on and I'll catch you in the dock. Talk to me. Let me see.
more from the red. Going down. Over here, just high. Are you a visitor? If there's anybody in here, can you make that flashlight come on by itself? Talk to me. Uh, I heard four socks too. Who's here with us? Right? And something was floating. Hold on. Something was just floating near you. I'm gonna walk behind them. That's making a lot of noise. Yeah. Which, what, what, what color is it at? I can't see it, that's why I keep putting the light on. Really? What color is the K2? <laughs> Make it go to... It's on green, make the flashlight come on. Can you make the green light go to orange or red? We're gonna get you. Is it twisted just right down? The K2 minutes moment. I know they keep on saying get out. Thank you. Behind you. You behind me? Put on a tripod? My camera kept shutting off and turning back on instantly. Really? Yeah. I wasn't touching that. Really? And the guy go going crazy? All right, listen, do that flashlight there, set it right, just right, so they can, so it's easy for them to twist it. Okay, so he's going crazy over there, he's uh... All right. All right, I'm not having it. All right, I just got a box, I just got a face detection over the flashlight. Someone's near that flashlight, make it come on. It just said no, I'll go. Why don't you want to turn the flashlight on? If you want us to leave, make the flashlight come on. Did it come on? It just started to. Wow, okay. Let me see it come on a little brighter. I know you're dead. If, if you want us to leave, turn the flashlight on for us. How many spirits reside in this building? Oh, Whoa. there it goes, there it is, bright. You notice sometimes if, you, if it's, oh, there goes the lights. There you go there, Coop. Wow. You, I, you really want us to This is the same room where he says that the wheels go on by themselves, with the machines that spit out balls. And I got it on a table here, you can see with boxes of baseballs and stuff. It's really bright. And uh, a flashlight can't just go from dead to bright, bright like that. So there's a lot of energy right here in this room. All right, can you move me? Oh, it just went off. It just went back on again. Do you like our company? If you like us here with you. That just said Erica. That, I heard Erica. Can you say Erica again? What about me? Gotcha. You got who? Did you you just said got you? Yeah. That's you know what she just said before you said that? It feels like somebody keeps touching me. That's what Erica just said. I said gotcha. Yeah, Erica, just before you said got you, Erica said somebody's touching me. Someone's touching my arm. Someone's touching your arm? Use my energy to turn the flashlight on. Mind. 
What you say, mine? Are you alright, Erica? Yeah. No, I saw this before. Are you feeling anything back there? Really? Every time I go over there. The ark. Woman? There's no power on it. That was weird. There's something definitely over there. Every time I go over there. Seems like you have a lot of scared spirits in here. There's nothing to be scared about. All we want to do is know what it's like on the other side. We want you to, so we can let other people know how it is on the other side. We mean no harm by being here. Okay? All we want to know is why you are here. Do you live here? Did you used to work here? You bet. You bet. You bet. It's moving. Oh, it just went to red. Do it again. Bring it to red again. Wow, it's moving. Wow, look at that thing go, Dave. We're coming. I'm going to make the light go on. You only got to touch the flashlight to turn it on. Touch the flashlight. Come on, you've already done it. Everybody. Anybody talk to us? Leave. Leave, okay. Who wants us to leave? Who wants us to leave? The whole team? You mean the whole team? You want all of us to leave? Yes. Do we intimidate you? See, what you don't understand is we don't feed off your fear. There's no fear in this room. You understand me? Hello. Hello, how you doing? How's everybody doing? Believe it or not, this is the same night Joel Citron was here, but uh, he was in the dressing room, so uh, I, I decided to change too. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to Joel Citron, and uh, we're going to bring you some evidence there. But he also has a book on Amazon. The name of the book is called Seduced on Amazon. So if you're into paranormal investigating, if you want to know anything about ghosts, apparitions, demonic entities, anything, EVPs, orbs, it's all in that book. And Tom what show you also was on. And I also appeared in season one of uh, Paranormal Survivor. I was a consultant for 12 different episodes and uh, hopefully with uh, a little bit of good luck going on, I'll be doing season two as well. There you go. The biggest thing is to be able to verify something and yeah. you've already verified that yeah. obviously yeah, and you've yeah, got yeah. enough evidence to know that there yeah. is spirit activity yes. here. The good thing is the, the audience out there will be thrilled to find a, a, a team that's out there that can pull evidence yes. like that. To yes. see something smoking out of a flashlight yeah. or to even be able to have a spirit dictate what's going on through the flashes of the flashlight, yep. the spirit box to actually back up everything that's going on, telling that story. Absolutely. We have something good. Go ahead, ask her the question. What's your name? I mentioned. Adam. Adam. Say what? Adam. 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 You said Adam. You said Adam. So Robin's with you. You bring, you bring who? Is that my K2? Mm -hmm. oh, we got it on one. Yep. Oh, look at that. Alright, who's here? I just said, who is it? It said a man. I see the oil. I got scared behind it. Brian, I'm Brian. Hi. 
book. There it goes. Thank you. Can you make it brighter? No. No, get out. I'm not going to get out, so turn that light bright. We have Joe Citrone over here taking pictures over here. He's getting some orbs. Hey, you want to do something really crazy? That flashlight dimmed, right? Yeah. And all the orbs that were in the pictures that I've been taking really? all just vanished. Yep, they left. Okay, you guys know what we're doing here, huh? See, now if you can see, there's some orbs there. Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Bunch of orbs. Right near now, the keep, keep going, right? Now yeah, watch. Him. Now there's none. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, right above the pole there. Yeah, right there, right? Now yeah. hang on. Who's look, here with us? Nothing. And then they're back. Turn the flashlight back on. Did you hear, did you guys hear a chair move? I mean, uh... We've got a lot of flashlight activity. I think that's big. Make that K2 go to red for me. Can you do that? I can't. Yeah, you can. Where'd everybody go? Alright, if you don't want me in your seat, right, let me know right now. Either turn the light on or tell me verbally. Joe won't have a heart attack, don't worry about it. He's a paranormal survivor. <laughs> okay. Do you say Debbie? Yes. You're watching everything we're doing, huh? We just want to talk to you. We're good people. Maybe, there, maybe there's something you might want to relate to a family member. Just a ghost. That, you know, that's what we do here. We, we're here to help you. We know that you've been gone for a long time and you miss your family members and we're here to shout out for you. So don't be scared. If you have anything on your mind, let us know, okay? Hi. 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 That was cool. Who's that? You sound like a little girl. Are you the one to turn the light on or off? Thank you. Oh, yeah. There it yep. goes. Thank you. We didn't hear a little kid. I know, earlier. There you go. Now turn it off. Thank you. I know I got a lot of evidence today. A that. lot of evidence, period. I think we got plenty of evidence. I mean, everybody out there I know Absolutely. wants to see poltergeist activity. But I was, uh, well, let me tell you something, viewers. When you watch Paranormal Activity on TV and everything, those are movies, right? It does happen. It takes a lot of energy, okay? Um, I've been in this profession a long time, over 15 years. The most that's ever happened to me is I've been kicked, I've been scratched, and I've been touched on the forehead. Um, so, and I had a medium that a patient followed the home and uh, she woke up with razor blade cuts on her skin. Once you put something together with the flashlights, the smoke, the orbs, yeah. the interview, it's gonna be a nice action-packed show. Bri. Yeah, I'm Bri, what's your name? Friends. Friends, yeah, we're friends. Are you angry? How many of them are you? Can the little girl talk to us? I'm getting mad face detection right around the numbers. See? What is that? You know what? The camera just went off and on. You know what? Uh huh. It's off now. It's on now. It's Okay, who's messing with the camera on my, who's messing with the light on my camera? Oh, it keeps on shutting my light off on my camera there, viewers. Okay, who's doing it? Did 
do is my camera's just sitting on the table here. Here's the ghost box. You can see it, and my light just keeps on going off on my camera. Now it's not doing nothing because I'm touching the box. So as soon as I sit the box back up and move my hand, it's going to go off on and off by itself. I'm getting face detection right next to this group. There it goes. I'm looking at, listen to this, I'm looking at my ghost box right now and there's a wet imprint of a baby's finger on my ghost box. I swear to you. Watch, look at the indentation. It's wet. You see the finger? No, do you see the fingers on there? Yeah. With the indentate, you can't see that? I can. Here's the thumb, here's the four fingers, and that right there on the box, small fingers. And that flashlight keeps on going off. I don't know if you can see it, viewers, but there's an indentation here, fingerprints of a little child on the box. I think I got it right here. Wow. The box stopped. Hey, don't forget. Hey, don't forget. Who don't forget? Who don't forget? That was loud. You gotta be real close by. Who's doing that to my camera? Thomas. And Brian's Thomas? Not, Brian's not doing anything to do this. Thomas? Thomas, are you having fun? We got some good evidence tonight, so it's going to be good. We're going to have a little bit of everything. Orbs, uh, voice activity, flashlights. Goodbye. Yes. Oh.